Greetings and welcome back to Planet Base, where in the last episode we unfortunately had to say goodbye to Neo Dapperton as through a combination of my building too big too early and some bad luck, namely one of my workers getting smacked in the face by a meteor, we eventually kind of got to a point where we could have struggled onwards, but realistically speaking, it, it was down to luck whether the colony would survive or not. So we're going to start a brand new colony. We're going to do things a little bit differently this time and hopefully have a little bit more luck. So, new game. Once again, we have to go to Class D because unfortunately we didn't unlock enough to get Class F. Though, really, realistically speaking, we failed on Class D. So, uh, there's no real reason why we want to increase the difficulty just yet. Well, I guess start there. And we need a better name this time. We need something that will give us some greater chances of survival so a more a more lucky name so let's go with t-town ah the good old colony of t-town everyone in the galaxy is going to want to come here so if one of our workers gets smacked in the face by a meteor again and they'll be replaced fairly quickly because everyone is going to be trying to get to t-town let's be honest with ourselves right let us begin now unfortunately there's no particular way for me to uh speed through this section so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking a sip of tea. What better way to start a colony? Okay then, tea towners We need to get things set up pretty quickly this time. We only need to, we need to build things in the order that will allow us to be self-sufficient and continue working. So, uh, um, I'm probably still going to build a sick bay fairly early on, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, there's not a lot of... Uh, there's a bit of clear room over there. It's a little bit far away, though. We could have a, an initial colony here and a bigger colony over there. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do something like that. So, first and foremost, we want an airlock. Ah, wait, no. It's not going to have any oxygen. So, we'll start with... We could build a bigger, but I really don't think we need to. This may end up just being a small little colony area here anyway. We'll build that. Then we're going to get an airlock right there. Connect these two. Now, initially, because you need so many structures all working in tandem, I'm not going to feel too bad about telling them to build a bunch of stuff all at once. Uh, we then need a water collector. So we could get a small water collector perhaps here. I think that would probably be fine. Yeah, let's get a small water collector. We do need a battery. Now, the battery is probably the only thing I'm going to go to medium straight away. Just because I don't think having a small battery is really going to help us out too much. We've got a smaller power uh, solar cell this time, so we really do need to store up a, bit, a fair chunk of charge. Uh, we will also then have one wind turbine, but it will be a small wind turbine. I'm not going to go for the large wind turbine this time. There we go. There we are. Right. Chop, chop. Need all of this done very, very quickly. Once that's done, we'll work on the canteen. Then we'll work on the sleeping quarters. There we go. Very good work. Power grid is up. And water is working. Okay. Right. Next up then. On the list of things we need, we want somewhere for them to eat. And since this can have multiple connections, I'm going to go ahead and put that right by there. But I'm not going to make it a large one. It's going to be a small area. We will also need... Uh, we will need a bunk room, a dorm. Can I fit one kind of just like nestled in there? I can. So I, I will, I think. I'll have a little close little dorm, right? Let them go. Now I'm going to wait to construct anything else until we've got at least the basic things in these areas that we need. That is a table, a water fountain, and a bed. I'm not going to build anything else. We're not going to build any uh, monitors or anything, though realistically we probably do need one of those fairly early because we want morale to be uh, reasonably high. There we go. Uh, I'm also going to pull down the, the roofs a bit. There we go. Right, I want one bed. Thank you. Please get that going for me. And we've got this almost. I need the corridor so it'll actually start filling with oxygen. There we are. Right. I need a water fountain. We'll pop that. Can I just have that there? And then a table. No, can I have a small table? Oh, I can have a small table and a water fountain. Okay, you know what? That's actually a good use of space. Alright, so there we go. Now I'm going to wait for those things to be made. 
because my colonists are going to flat out need them pretty much straight away. Especially the water. People are going to get thirsty pretty soon and hungry. So let's get everyone indoors. Unfortunately, we've only got one airlock right now, so it's taking a long time for things to move through. That is a bit of a pain, to be perfectly honest. But let's get that going if we can. There we are. Fantastic. People are bringing in meals. And there we go. Fantastic. Right, that's covered then. Next up, we are going to want... A biodome, I think. Let's get a biodome going. So I'll build that right there. Connect it. But also, we are immediately going to be building a processing plant. And the processing plant is going to go right down by here, I think. Um, maybe a little bit to the side. Can I connect? There we are. Right, processing plant. Hook that up. We need to get to self-sufficiency very fast. Right, people can drink. I mean, there's only one water fountain, but you can all drink, so... There we are. We've got a, you know, a decent charge. What's our power grid? We're only consuming 10. It's not terribly bad. Uh, we've got a fair old stock. I, I'm not sure how long the nights last. Let's just say days. I, thought, I guess this is showing me how long until daytime. The wind speed. Yes. There we go. That's actually not bad at all. Processing plant is finished. Let's slow down time. Now... I'm going to go ahead and tell them to set this up early. So there we go. And then this as well. We'll only have one of each. That's going to require bioplastics. Uh, actually, no, that's going to require metal. How much have we got? Got plenty. All right, that's finished. So let's get in. We're going to have some tomatoes. We'll go with some potatoes. Medicinal plants. Don't need it quite yet. How much bioplastic? We've got a fair bit of bioplastic, but I'm going to wait until we've got everything else set up first. Right, we want this in here now. Food maker. Then, finally... Ooh, just run out of power? Oh, no, no, sorry. I turned her off. That was a bit derpy of me. We want a mine is the next thing to build. Oh, really? We can connect, connect it to that, really? I would like it. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, they can get out there. That'll do. Connect it up to this structure, and it should be good. There we are. Okay. This should be all we need for the, for the, the start, I guess. Let's get some medicinal plants in there, then. And the next stage is to actually build... Self-sufficiency reached. Fantastic. Oh, dear. You should recycle the colony ship. Ah, uh, yes, yes, we probably should. Let's go ahead and get a sick bay set up. We don't need a big one. At least I hope we won't. But uh, we won't build a big one yet, anyway. I'll hook that up to the main room there. Then we're going to need a lab as well. So where's the lab? The lab is just over there. Where can we place this? Um... Yeah, I think having the lab built off that will be the better idea. Alright, speed up time again. Okay, so, starting to get things together. Let's go ahead and build you a vid screen at this point. I think you deserve something to uh, chill out to. There we are. We can even put in a little plant, perhaps. Put one there. Maybe one down there. Um... Right now, basically what I want is something to help with morale. I want to get morale sorted. As soon as this... Because, as we can see, morale is probably the only need that we're not actively taking care of right now. There we go. Med Bay as well. There we are. Perfect. And as soon as the lab is up and running... Here we go. We'll get that in there. And we'll get this straight away as well. I want to make sure that we've got plenty of meat. We want a nice, good, varied diet. Okay, well, I think we're actually in a fairly good position at the moment. What I would like next, then, is a storage area. Now, the storage area, fortunately, does need to be built down here somewhere, maybe. Build her off there, but I don't think that was the best idea. 
Um, actually, the storage area would have been better there, really, come to think of it. Oh, well. Let's hook that up, and then we should be okay. Then we can recycle our spaceship. I'm not going to recycle it just yet. I'm going to wait for everything to be pulled out of it first. All right, how's things going? We've got someone working in there. We've got someone working there. Okay, we're actually starting to produce things. This is not too bad. Oh, wait. No, we are actually going to have to recycle it. Well, we don't have to, but we may as well at this point just to get the bioplastics. There we are. That's what we wanted. Right, fantastic. Now, the main thing I would like to do is I'd like to ensure that we get our power grid fed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say let's build a big wind turbine. Now, it's probably going to be one of the biggest... Uh, the, the first, like, extra large structure that I built. It might be the only one for a little while. There we go. Okay, we're making our own bioplastic. This is going much better than last time. This is what happens when you play games completely blind. You you do uh, you do make some pretty glaring mistakes. Though I'm not going to put it down to the the blind play. I mean, a little bit maybe. Part of it was luck, but I mean, I made some pretty noob mistakes for a colony management game. Built too big, too fast. All right there we go. Let's go. The dwarf fortress player in me was just. Tutting and shaking his head. Dark Avak was just laughing, though. Right. We are noticing people who are thirsty, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. Perhaps I should put in a second water fountain. Because perhaps I'm not actually got enough people who can uh, take care of their needs right now. We'll have a look. We're making some additional... Uh, we've got medicinal plants, bioplants, and we are making some extra medical supplies. What I would like to do now, then, is... Oh, we haven't got manufacturing limits. I really do want that. Hint, resources. You will need to manage a variety of resources. Resources decay and will... Oh, keep your base running. They range from raw resources like ore and starch to finalized products like semiconductors or guns. Resources decay and will ultimately dis disintegrate when not in a storage or inside a component. So it's important to keep them in a safe place. Resources from the colony ship are more durable and will take longer to disintegrate, but it's still a good idea to get them out eventually. Oh, right. Well, that's actually very good to know. It's nice to know that it kind of gives you a little bit of extra, extra time with the colony ship stuff. That's actually pretty good. Okay, that's that's not bad at all, actually. We were storing power for a, a moment when the wind speed kicked up a little bit. I need one of my uh, engineers to get out there and fix that robot, though. If you'd be so kind. There we go, thank you very much. CR1, carrier robot, I guess that means. Okay, everything's going all right in here. We are making space chickens. Space pigs would be nice. Space bacon. Power storage is critical, though. It's going down pretty hard. We're about to lose power. That is a shame. However, it is almost daytime, so it's not as terribly bad. But I think we are going to need to build ourselves a better solar panel. Maybe a second solar panel or even more storage. I'm not sure. I think we'll go with second solar panel for now. I'm not going to make it a big one because uh, I don't think we need it yet. I'm trying to... Uh, Stray away from getting everything too big too fast this time. There we go. We're making some nice meals. Contains meal basic. I would love to make better meals. What kind of meals can we make? Can we do anything better? We've just got the canteen. We can make a bar. Mm, that would be nice. Uh, we didn't build a control center last time. Maybe that would be a useful structure to have. So why don't we build one now? And we'll have it built directly off. Ooh, if I do that, unfortunately. Can I connect that up there? No. Can I connect it? No. It just flat up wants to connect it. That's unfortunate because it did ruin my uh, hollow screen. But on my vid screen, rather. Is there a place I can fit this now? Not really. There's one place right over there. It's just going to have to make do with that. Okay, we're making some more bioplastic. That's always good to see. And we are fully stored on power, which means kind of want another power collector. 
Possibly even a gigantic power collector this time. Um, is there a like, little space I can sneak this into? It doesn't look like. Okay. I'll build it here for now then. It's going to take a fair old bit of metal. We are starting to get low on that. Uh, actually, we're going to need a spares workshop very, very soon. In fact, that is a little bit worrying. Uh, I mean, we can make more metal right now, but... Should have made this a little bit sooner than I did. Let's see. We can pop it in there. Yeah, that'll do. Speed things up. I may actually pull that down for now. Yeah, before I actually build it. Let's pull that down. Let's build the other things that we need more. There we go. Sandstorm imminent. Oh, dear. Uh, well, there's really not a lot I can do. I'm sorry. You need to get indoors quickly, though. This is going to hurt my colonists, isn't it? I wonder if I can just delay. No. I can cancel. Right, I'll cancel this for now. You are oh, really? It would have been better if I just let you do it. Okay, you're actually really getting hurt now. Get inside. Please get inside. Oh no! It was stuck outside! Damn it! Oh, that's so frustrating. Right, you really, need, really need to get indoors. I like how they're holding up their arms, I think, to try and guard from the sandstorm. If only we'd had this built a little bit faster, I could have avoided some of that. Oh well. You're going to need some medical supplies. Let's have a look at you. Using a bed. Our, our med bay will be able to take care of that. Right, okay. We've got security console. Guard will monitor suspicious activity in a few structures from this console. This will allow you to detect intruders before they kill anybody. Radio console. A worker will monitor radio antenna from here. Telescope console. An engineer will monitor a telescope from here. An armory. Um, a radio, maybe? I, I don't know. Can I now perhaps just do things like control... Oh, I can. Ah, fantastic. Okay. I just needed the building. Okay. Well, that's fine. We don't directly need other things just yet. I want my robots fixed. Very great shame that we lost that one, but okay. Right, let's go ahead and build ourselves the factory since we are flat out going to need that soon. Let's get that fixed up. We've got way more power than we can store, which is a bit of a shame. Um... I mean, maybe I could just go with another size 2 power storage facility. Oh, wait. We'll see. Okay. So I'm very unfortunate that our robot got stuck outside just as a sandstorm hit, but, uh, you know, these things are going to happen from time to time. Now we just need our engineer, who is now the only person who can build anything. So we're back to another situation where there's li literally the entire colony is hinging on one person. I mean, we've been there for a while now with the medic, but uh, it's not so great, is it? One, two, three, four. We're going to want a landing pad. I'm going to wait for this. I would like the priority to be on this room. If you've got the resources, then please pr uh, produce stuff with them. Don't waste your time just stockpiling ridiculous amounts of ore. Right, okay. Resource limits. Let's get that set up. Medical supplies. No, 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 no. Ten is fine for now. Spears. Ten is also fine for now. Everything else can be whatever. There we go. All right. We may actually be in a... Bit of a better situation than we were before. A space workshop can now be set up. Um, yeah, go ahead. Let's use up the one metal that we've got right now to get that going. Now that we've got this set up as a priority, hopefully they're only going to be mining when they can't make any more metal, which is fine by me, generally speaking. Got some people who are a little bit, a little bit down, a little bit unhappy. That's not great, really, is it? But all things told, it's not terribly bad. Either. I wouldn't mind some extra stuff there, but um, right now we don't actually need the spares, but 
they're not going to produce anything with it. I perhaps shouldn't have made it, but I have, so... Next, I think we will just go for the landing pad. Let's get that set up. Right there. Now, unfortunately, our storage is very far away from the landing pad. That is going to cause us a little bit of trouble, I think, when it comes to actually getting materials back and forth. But, all things told, I've achieved in one episode what took me three episodes to do before, and I've done it better this time. So, fingers crossed, the early hurdle lessons have been learnt. Again, kind of silly that I made those mistakes, especially because they're kind of colony manage management staples. Don't build too fast. That That is taught to you quite brutally into a fortress. But, uh, oh well. It was done. Mistakes were made. Mistakes have been learned from. And that is the best part about mistakes, is when you make them, you tend to learn not to do the same thing again. So in the next episode, hopefully, we will actually see some progress beyond what we saw in the first three. I hope you are looking forward to that and will be joining me, of course. But until then, as always, do take care.